What's going on, G family? And as you can see, we are back with another one for tonight. I hope y'all boy are having a great time whenever y'all are watching this, whether it's morning, noon, or night. And today, I just wanted to give my opinion on this little back and forth situation between Johnny Dang and Sauce Walker. If you didn't know, recently Sauce Walker got himself a new set of grills and he took the Instagram to show them off, but in the video, instead of just, you know, shouting out the person who made the, the jewelry for him, he decided to take it a little step further and, and then call out Johnny Dang. I'm gonna play the clip for you. World's most expensive grill, man. Sauce Walker, plug GO, you did. Yeah. Ah! I'm gonna take out the Johnny Dangs and put in the GOs. I'm sorry. I, I'm taking out these and I'm upgrading to these. You know what I'm saying? We went from 100,000 to 1 million. You know what I'm saying? Cause we had to, we set the bar standard in the, in the state of Texas so high that it cannot be beaten. Welcome to Texas. Ooh -wee. What makes this video a little bit more of a diss towards Johnny Dang than just a simple call out is the fact that Plug Geo used to be a, an employee of Johnny Dang. Back in 2021, for unknown reasons, Johnny Dang had to eventually let this guy go. There's no telling if there's secret animosity between them and he just wanted to get back at, at Johnny Dang since Sauce Walker was looking for a new idea. Or it could be the fact that Sauce Walker could have been the initiator. If you haven't known, Sauce Walker and Johnny Dang have been working together for over 20 years. So maybe Sauce Walker went to Geo seeing Geo doing his own thing and was like, yo, you used to work with him. How about in order to get back at Johnny Dang, we come up with a piece together that's real expensive for no reason. We go ahead, market it online, the flex in front of everybody. And then we just down Johnny Dang, you know, try to take credit from him. But at the end of the day, this is all under the assumption that something went on behind the scenes between either Gio and, and Johnny or Sauce Walker and Johnny. Gio, I just couldn't imagine him still being upset about being fired over three years later and trying to take it out. Especially if he's obviously doing well for himself if he was able to create such an expensive piece for Sauce. So... I don't think it has anything to really do with a beef between them. Regardless of the motive, all this attention being brought around Johnny Dane's name caused him to want to respond. Sauce, how long we know each other, man? Over some 20 years. I'm happy you shop with me. You buy jewelry everywhere in LA with my boy Cat in New York. It's all good, it's all love. Everyone need to make it money, but don't fucking disrespect my name, bro. Can't do that. Don't do that shit. I've been busting my ass for over 20 years since I came here from Vietnam. From nothing. I bust my... I'm not perfect. I've been busting my ass every day for years. I fucking disrespect nobody. Nobody. You can name it. So when you use my name, please, man, fucking say my name right. Oh, fucking don't even mention my name in your mouth. I even call you to ask you, hey, let's go to together for the dinner. And I even ask you, this kind of about joining my nail salon so we can make money together. Nothing but love, man. You, one of the few rappers I've been knowing for over 20 years. Nothing but love. I know, I know, man. Some internet shit, when they hear some free stuff and think, oh, you're going to do the Mosinize or uh, CVDs. Man, fuck that shit. Y'all got talking shit to another jeweler all day long. Like I say, I always support Houston families, the community, the city where I started from the bottom. It's all good. You can shop around the world. You know, you don't need to put my name in there. But if you mention my name, put some respect on my name. If not, get the fuck in my name out of your mind. As you can see, it caused Johnny Dang to be quite upset, which led to Sauce Walker responding to this on Instagram. But after all of this, man, my opinion on the situation, 
I don't think Johnny Dang should have got that upset. He could have said, yo, just don't speak on me negative and negatively and just left it at that. He decided to go all in, but at least Sauce Walker is not you know, like looking into it too deep. Like, oh, this man being disrespectful. He's kind of taking like the higher ground road, if you want to call it that. So overall, man, I think it's just a little silly situation so you don't get so upset. But I would really like to know what you guys think. I would appreciate it if you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you write something down in the comment section. And last but not least, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, big dog. Make sure you tune in. We got more content in the way. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.